So, Yuri has a history too. I'd like to know where all of you came from. Hmm, where should I start? We already know what you're gonna say, you big wuss. Ugh, fine. Rita, then how about you? I've done research in Ospia for a while. Jeez, big shocker there. What about you, Judith? Me? I lived in the town before I met Bao. Everybody called me a prim and proper little girl. You gotta be kidding. Estelle, you grew up in the castle, right? Yes, I spent all of my time in the castle reading books. I'm so jealous of all of you. See? No surprises! Just like Rita's story! Doesn't anyone want to ask old Raven? I might have some interest in tales to tell. In your case, old man, I think I've got a pretty good idea what you'd say. My past might spin you for a loop and have you fallen head over heels for me. You don't know. I can't say you've established a lot of credibility so far as stories are concerned, old man. Be so cold. Come on, let me tell my story.
Rita, you were resisting at first, but you really got into the act, didn't you? N no, you were just taking your part so seriously. I had no choice but to follow along. Your costume was pretty cute, too. What a nice treat for all of us. Hey! Your acting was really on point, Carol. <laughs> well, I used to be in the Actors Guild after all. You've been in all sorts of guilds, kid. Anyway, that wasn't even acting. I'd like to act in another play with everyone else someday. No way! Never again! Me neither! I don't want Rita to set me on fire again! I'd like to be in the play next time. I'd have to be the lead, of course. I had my doubts, but it looks like everyone had a good time. used to be just bare land, but it's starting to look like a real town now. It looks like they're building more and more houses, too. Yeah! Look on that roof over there! That's the master carpenter of the Carpenters Guild! He heard about Arnian and came with all his tools and apprentices to help! He even refused to take money for it! He's so generous! Hmm, looks like the manly carpenters are out in full force. You could learn a thing or two from them.
I'll say. That's quite an ensemble you've got. Do you plan on winning Yuri with it? Hmm? What's up? Need anything? It's nothing. Now get out of my sight. Uh -huh. We shouldn't bother them. Let's go, Yuri. Anyway, about that seaweed. You can't be serious. Is it some sort of drill or what? Don't you want to talk to him? I need to brush up a bit first. Brush up? Oh, you mean Time Out Dongrest? Oh, I know that magazine. It has the latest spots young birds flock to. A bird watching magazine? But why? Raise your mugs. Popular pubs for rowdies. Streets for fighting. Backdrops to fire you up. True tales of terrifying field laws. Fashion analysis with Dawn. Great sword pointer. Assassination spots you want to watch out for. What in the briny blue? This isn't right. Oh, I see. This month's issue is the Gentleman's Guild special. That won't help you out. When faced with a daunting foe, they often betray their comrades and save themselves. They gain more power than they need, and grow overconfident once they have it. This had been my understanding of human nature. Humans are quite interesting. They become distrustful once betrayed. One moment they may slander a friend, and the next be moved to feelings of love. Their hearts may grow more compassionate, or be lost to depravity. Truly puzzling creatures. All of that makes them dangerous. How long until they are drowned by their thirst for power? How long until they betray all those dear to them in their struggle for supremacy? When they stand before a mighty enemy, will they keep their resolve? Do you not believe in them, Sylph? I wished only to convey the delicacy of the situation. Should they ever become too great a nuisance, we need only burn them to the ground. It seems that the conversion to spirit form has not tempered our leader's fiery wrath. Nor has there been any change in the optimism that so characterized you, Undine. And you remain every bit as cautious and careful as you ever were. Has not that fear kept you in constant concern over the catastrophe in the sky? It was all the Antilochia and humans could do to seal it away 1,000 years ago. The humans have said that as spirits we possess the power to defeat it. However... Say no more. Speaking it out loud will only further increase your worry. We are a new power that will form the cornerstone of this world. The Adephagos is nothing. We may possess enough power to defeat the Adephagos once and for all. But all our work will have been for naught if the humans cannot face this threat. Do not forget that it is the mortals who must use our powers against the Adephagos. Did you not place your faith in their hands? As there are no others to whom we can turn, I will entrust them with our final hope. Then be content to stand by and watch over them. Believe in them. I too await the day when I make known my full power. <sighs> Speak, Gnome, if you have something we should know. He says we are left to make one of two choices. Perish along with this world, or entrust our powers to the humans. They may be fragile, but their hearts burn with a determination to live. I will stand with them. Do you mean it, Gnome? He says I too share their desire to go on living. That is the life for those who grow old and die. We must live as suits our nature. No. Like them, the oncoming catastrophe could sow the seeds of our obliteration as well. No. Let us too struggle for as long as we can, as the humans do. Goodbye. I hope everyone will accept this. I mean, that the world is changing. 
There's a difference between understanding something and accepting something. It'll take time. But this is the only way that's left. We just have to accept it. This isn't a choice we've made freely. We had to choose it. Not everyone will welcome it, that's for certain. But... It's something we have to do. That's what you want to say, right? Y yeah. That's fine then. Cheer up, Carol. Okay. You think it'll work out, right? Who knows? Judith, I can't tell if you're trying to make me feel better or not. What you want is different from what's actually there. Reality can be a harsh mistress. Oh, what's the occasion? Little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! I liked your spirit. <laughs> I'd expect that from Carol, but Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. What? We were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help, Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Would you spar with me as well, Raven? Hey, well, if you both want to, I can't say no. It'll take more than luck to beat Duke, after all. All right, Carol, no mercy? Right. No mercy! <laughs> Fight!
Is fighting really the only option with Duke? Well, if he's in Tarkaron, then I think we'll have to. My mind's already made up! If only we can defeat the Autophagos with the spirits before he completes the formula! Do you think you'll just let that happen? As long as he's sacrificing people to achieve his aims at Tarkaron, we have to stop him! <sighs> What's eating you, Estelle? Are you that conflicted about fighting him? Yes, but we won't win if we go in with doubts. Oh, I don't know. If doubting is part of your nature, you should trust that nature in battle. What? Well said, Judith. Maybe that's the right approach. We're not your typical band of heroes, after all. You do what you can. You take the hits, but you don't lose. Sound about right? I think that the more you fret, the brighter you'll shine, Estelle. You're all so... thank you. just getting better and better! Indeed. A town born from the Empire and the Guilds. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful city. Though it's a shame it took a world crisis to get them to work together. <laughs> a global threat brings people together. That's irony for you. I think that's alright though. They're finally seeing eye to eye. Right. And even if they need a crisis now, I'm sure one day it'll just come naturally. Indeed. It would be a shame if this cooperation was only temporary. I hope we can return and ensure that it is lasting. Me too! We have to take care of the Autophagos first, though.
Oh, you're full of vim, Patty. We're gonna need a whole lot of vim to take down that giant Atafagos. Just don't use it all up before we get there, okay? And with the Atafagos gone, it will be the dawn of a new world. One without Blastia. There's nothing to fear. Everyone will be able to move on even without Blastia. I'm sure of it. You saw Yoder and the people from the guilds in Ornian, right? With them in charge, people will learn to live, even if there are problems along the way. The possibilities are bigger than a blue whale! I believe that. Even without the Autophagos, there would be no future in sacrificing life after life like Duke did. And I intend to fight at your side to guarantee a better future, Yuri. I'm counting on you. We won. You picked the wrong people to fight with. Pick the wrong people to fight with.
together now! Alright, who's next? That was so easy! Now, what? you look ready. So do you. Destroy them in no time! You picked the wrong people to fight with. This looks like fun! Demon!
Let's eliminate them! You picked the wrong people to fight with. <laughs> 